In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to get the column index number automatically in the VLOOKUP. Now, in this example, I've got the VLOOKUP table, which I'm going to compile. And then I've got the, the table array in the sheet just next to it. So I'm just going to do a normal VLOOKUP. I'm going to search for Petra in my table. And my table names is sitting in column C, which I'm just going to pull from there. And then if I need the salary, it's going to be three and then zero for false so that's the salary if i want the age then i'm going to search for the word petro in there and then that's going to be two and zero so there we go so then i've got all the salaries and all the ages now what you can do because the problem with this is this column index number doesn't change automatically so if somebody goes and they insert some columns in my table array if I go back, you see that changes to zero because this numbers, the column index number doesn't change automatically. You can actually set this numbers to reach from the top. So I just put in dollar signs, F4 and F4. Currently there's nothing there, but if I put a 3 there, it will be fine. This one is 2, which will be fine. If you do this, you can actually copy and paste this formula. So if you've got everything fixed, it would work quite well. Um, there we would not fix the B. You do that, and you copy now. Just to make sure it still works, if I just go and delete this additional columns I did, it works. So that works quite well. Now when you've got this, it's also quite nice. You can actually change it, and you move around the columns as you want. Now this numbers we can get automatically, and we do that with a match formula. How does a match formula work? A match formula, we've got a lookup value, so the lookup value will be my heading, and my headings in my table is the same as my, my table array. So I'm going to look for that heading in my table, and you're not going to select the whole row, you're going to select from the place where your table array starts, which will be column C. So we started there, and matched up, always zero. Can you see it shows three and if we do the same there again match look for that value in your table array start at the place of your table array for VLOOKUP and zero what's nice about this is if somebody goes now and they insert columns there it still stays the same because this numbers on top changes automatically so that is how you would change the column index number automatically. You use a match formula. You can either do the match formula inside this formula or on top. Which, as a if you're amateur and you you you're starting with this, I'll prove, I'll suggest doing it on top.